Strange how a few years ago we laughed at these things, believing them to be a joke. However, now we find that this has actually been tried. Yes, it's been tried on a pig, and the experiment was approved by the US Food and Drug Administration. Apparently the chip and the electrodes behave in a similar way to a Fitbit and measure brain activity. Plans are now underway to do the same to a human brain. It's so we can remember things better and thoughts and memories can be transferred between chips and literally between brains. It's to make us superhuman. Do we need it? Well, not really, since we already have it. Humanity can do this naturally. Couples that have been together years think alike and can often communicate without speaking. They know what the other person is thinking. They're in tune with each other's energy and vibrations and it's done through love, with some calling it telepathy. Merging and mixing humans with artificial intelligence, or AI as it's commonly called, isn't and was never part of the great creator's plan. The clues in the name artificial, meaning contrived, insincere and not real. It's not real intelligence, it's artificial. There are a few people who believe we should crack on with this. Some of those are in government and government bodies, and they believe more experiments should be carried out on animals for the good of humankind. Some say that these brain chips will enable blind people and severely disabled people to use a smartphone and computer with their mind. That sounds like a wonderful thing. However, it can be said that many disabled people are the most wonderfully creative people. They have developed skills through their disability without being hooked up to AI day and night. We already know that continual use of mobile phones, computers and other devices can be addictive and damaging for our mental health and our physical health. In this case, less is definitely more, and all within moderation. Perhaps the finances for this experiment could be put to better use to eliminate homelessness and poverty. It's just a thought, a thought that comes from a place of love, and love always wins in the end.